Okay, in this uh, portion of the video, we're going to show you how to use merchant resources to texture the eyes. Now, if you look at the photograph we have here, you know, there's a really nice color in the eyes, but if we zoomed in really close, the detail won't be very sharp, even though the photograph is high resolution. This is a preview. Our, our actual photograph is quite a high resolution. Uh, that's not it. This is it. Um, but it is... You know, it's 4,200 uh, uh, by 3,700 ish. Um, but if we really zoomed into the eyes, we're not going to get that much detail because, well, the eyes just have so much subtle detail and they're so small. And if you zoom in uh, to your character, you're going to want to see really, like, really crisp, uh, clean eyes. Now, if you look here, these ones uh, that came with the original set are quite nice, but we want a different color. And we can always just change the color of this, but there's always the little tone and texture inside there. So we're going to use a different resource for that. So I went ahead and purchased the uh, um, RM uh, Real Eyes Vivor resource, which is a collection of eye textures, essentially. And uh, for this particular character, these, these textures are set up to already fit the UV mapping. So all you really got to do is drop it down in the manager and assign it to uh, the appropriate materials, but that would just be too easy. We're going to show you how to do it on any object. So if you have a character who is these eyes are not designed for, you can easily use it on them as well. And so we have all these different color options to choose from, but let's just go for this really vivid blue right here. These are pretty awesome. So I'm going to drag and drop those into my brush image box here and uh, but before I do anything else let's get ready number one I have these eyes are locked I have a display group that's locked for these so my first step is I'm gonna have to unlock them so display group and it's interface interface geometry and I'm gonna make them visible as opposed to locked now I'm not only gonna do that I'm gonna do selection tool picker and I'm gonna say my um, I'm going to choose by group and I'm going to select the eye groups. And if I hold shift, I'll get the next one as well. And then I'm going to say edit, hide, no, not hide selected surface yet. I'm going to do first select, edit, select, invert the selection. Okay. Then I'm going to say hide selected surface. So what that does is it basically, when the eyes were selected and I clicked invert, it said select everything but the eyes. And then I say hide selected surface. In other words, hide everything but the eyes. So that's what I did. So now I'm going to go to, um, let's get rid of this here. Now my shift V and V hotkeys. And I've fixed plane and I'm going to line them up onto this eye. But it would also help if I push the O hotkey for wireframe overlay. And that's also found in viewports, uh, shading options, wireframe overlay. So if I hit O, that toggles on and off. Okay, it'll make it easier to line up the uh, textures with that. So uh, I got my Shift V again and fix plane. Let's frame it first. Get it approximately in the area we want it to be. Then I'm going to move it. But you see, I want it to be pretty much in this area here. So I'm going to size that down. move and I tried this once before and it made the iris a little too big and it looked weird so I'm going to try to avoid doing that so shift the size make it smaller move and at the same time I also want to uh, I'm doing it on this face layer as well but I want it to bleed into the eye white a bit as well. See, I want it, well, that's actually, oh, that's nice. So I want it to bleed over into this area just a bit so it doesn't look too harsh. Here, that looks really harsh, right? And so we don't want that. So I'm going to uh, now paint, paintbrush, and I'm going to choose hidden surface removal, none. And be sure to turn this off when you're done because this is going to make the paint go straight through. And it's going to go to the back of the eyeball as well, but we don't really care because nobody's going to see that. I could technically go and hide the polygons in the back of the eyeball so that doesn't happen. Because these um, 
because these little nooks and crannies, sometimes the paint won't get in there because of uh, the one vertex is hidden behind another type of thing. So anyway, we're just going to paint straight through everything here. And I want to be really careful and make like a really soft edge on this. Anyway, let's get the center in here first. And you know what, before, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go back and make sure my symmetry is turned on. Ah, so, so I get the other eyeball at the same time. Because they can technically be two different colors. They don't share the same space on the UV map. There we go. You know, I can get rid of this overlay now. Just up to the middle. I don't want any of that white stuff in there. And paint tools, eraser, just to clean this up a bit. Yeah, good enough for now. Okay? So I'm going to zoom out. And before I forget, I'm going to turn that back to per vertex so I don't end up painting on the back of the head later on. So, and now we'll go to edit, unhide all, and it says unhide the hidden gr display groups as well, and we have uh, hidden groups for the transparency over overlays. We don't want to unhide those, so we're going to say no. Okay, so there, we just unhid everything but there. So now, voila, we have these deep piercing blue mysterious eyes, right? On this, uh, on this new face texture, which we just painted over top of the merchant resource. So, okay, we had this, and we have well, a whole set of textures, but that we were just focusing on the head. So we have this, and we have this, and we came up with this. Now let's get rid of some of these, uh, um, these sort of illustration overlays here. Get rid of that, and if I clear the brush image, that little box will go away too. There we go. Now, wasn't that pretty easy? And of course, if you want to do a professional pro uh, project, uh, you're going to want to spend you know more time doing all the little nitty gritty details. You want to ideally have multiple angles of this face. But in this case, I really like this picture, and there was only one of you available, so I decided to make do. And that's the good thing about using these merchant resources is that it naturally just fills in your missing details. So you're starting off with something and just painting on top of that. When you're starting off with a blank empty canvas and you paint on top of it, it's, 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 it's a daunting challenge, right? To make a full textured uh, uh, photorealistic human. But by utilizing merchant resources, Right, and combining the different uh, ones and to, to get the effect you want, you can create textures like, I'm not a, a graphic artist, I'm a, I'm a programmer, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. I was actually thinking it was going to turn out much worse than this, but this turned out quite nice. I'm very happy, and so I hope you learned a lot from this. We're going to do a lot more videos really showing you how to use these, these merchant resources and how to like just quickly crank out some, some good quality textures um, in, in a minimum amount of time and uh, yeah so we hope you've uh, enjoyed this video uh, please uh, comment on the video or or post in the forums and uh, <coughs> let, let, let me know if you have any problems at all with the software uh, I've also answered emails and so on and so forth so uh, I want to make sure that all of you get to use this software uh, as much as possible and to utilize its full power and uh, anyway I'm babbling it's all good thank you very much for watching this series of videos more of them to come. Please stay tuned.